Hey guys, Tachio here and I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to upgrade your version of a mod pack on FTB Launcher. Um, sometimes when you see on the forums, if you browse through your favorite mod pack, sometimes the author or the creator of that mod pack will show you the version number as well as what has been changed. So, for example, Jaded Cat for Agrarian Skies has released 3.1.0 for Agrarian Skies um, today. So, um, if you want to know what these numbers are, there is a thread um, discussing about mod pack versioning on forums. Just go to forums news, it's at the top of the forums and then mod pack launcher news and you will see this at the first bit so um the first number is basically a um, indicator if it's a beta or a stable release and then the second um number after th the period is another series of if it's a be beta um patch or a stable version and the third w update or the third number is what no what number of updates has it been since that um, for that version so if you are still not unsure about that then um, just go to your favorite mod pack thread and sometimes um, people or the creators will say that um, this version is recommended or this version is stable so yeah just download it on here um, if we just use agrarian skies, I am just using a recommended. However, right now 3.1.0 is not yet up because most of the time uh, mod packs are updated through Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. Depends on where you are, and I think it it updates on GMT. I think so. Uh, we we uh, we might see um, the 3.1.0 update later on but as of this point um, jaded cat just posted it at 7.03 a.m. Th right now it's 1.55 p.m. GMT plus 8 so I am thinking it might be later on so yeah um, so, so if you were at 2.1.9 you just go through this um, list right here and then just either click rec recommended which will download the very latest um, stable mod pack version for your game however if you want to stick to 2.1.9 then just select this and uh, yeah um, if you accidentally um, went to a unstable or a test or a beta version and you want to revert back you can do that as well if for example th if this was 3.0.2 if you click that launch and it will ask you if you want to back up your files or not and if you accidentally click um, yes um, it will download the 3.0.2 or 3.0.1 but if you want to go back just click on 2.1.9 it will ask if you want to downgrade your version um, simply just click yes and yeah you will get your version back and possibly have your map still be playable but I do advise that before you um, update your version just back up your files um, if we can just go here quickly and show you guys where it is you can just go to the saves file and then just copy paste it wherever you want for example if you were at home sweet home um, R just copy this move it somewhere on your hard drive and that is your backup um, aside from the aroma backup that agrarian skies has already have so yeah you it's better or to be safer than sorry um, just make backup of your map on agrarian skies and everything um, is A-OK -okay after that. So, uh, for people who are playing Blood and Bones, it's, it's also the same thing. Um, if you are still playing on 1.07 uh, or 1.1.1, you can 
actually um, upgraded to 1.1.2 um, it's the map reset is not really mandatory but you can still continue playing on your previous world however if this has become 1.2.0 then it's advisable to kind of reset your world or start all over again because there are uh, major changes that is going on for that version and yeah um, sometimes it's not recommended to use the recommended because most of the time if you use the recommended then the next version is 1.2.0 sometimes your map will kind of get messed up and you kind of need your backup before that version upgrade has happened so that you can still play on your map so do be careful if you are using recommended um, if you know that the version is stable via the um, threads on the Fe Feed the Beast um, forum then just go ahead and select that version right there um, if you are not if you don't know what you are doing you are free to ask anyone on Feed the Beast forums um, just post on the corresponding thread if you are playing Agrarian Skies post it on this thread right here if you are post uh, uh, f um, playing Crash Landing, just post it right here. And uh, one thing that people have been asking is, what if they died in the Grand Skies? What if they died in Crash Landing? How do they restart? So um, that is easy. For Agrarian Skies, there is a tab called Maps. You can just browse through here and just download the map here. This is the flat platform. This is the home sweet home. And this is the server map, the the one with the eight houses. So, and the eight houses coordinates are found on the first page of the Agrarian Skies forum. And the these are the ones. I kind of like the black one because it's different from the default home sweet home map. It has a kind of a corner type um, structure. So I might be playing that on um, 3.1.0 version of Agrarian Sky soon. And uh, speaking of maps for crash landing, on the first page of th that um, thread, these are the maps easy and hard for 1.0.7. Uh, I do know that 1.0.8 is coming out soon. However, it's it has major changes again. Um, rain is disabled and wooden barrels are making a comeback. So. So yeah, that's I'm basically just force updating my um, Feed the Beast launcher because I can't really see um, 3.1.0 just in case. So yeah, it's kind of taking so long because I'm not sure why. Maybe lots of people are downloading it. Not sure. But in any case, just be patient and you'll soon be able to play your favorite mod pack on Feed the Beast launcher. So Thank you once again for watching and hope that I have helped you in either upgrading or downgrading or choosing your right choosing the right version for your mod pack as well as how to get maps for your um a grand skies or crash landing um restart. So again thank you very much for joining me and till the next video. Cheers.